Hey guys, I'm back. And today I'm going to share how you can add a weather overlay on your OBS. So I found this one to be the most simplest one there is to try and use. So I'm going to walk you right through that. I'm going to bring up the website that will allow us to design the overlay. And after that, we're probably going to get right into OBS so you can add it to your scene. All right, let's get through it. So here's the website. Uh, I'll put the link in the description later. Essentially, this website allows you to enter a weather API key, a city, country, language, measurement choice, and a few other options. And you get a URL for a browser source that we can put inside OBS. Now it does require you to register. So, so the first thing you want to do is click that link and register. So I've got the website right up here. So it takes you to this website. No, you don't have to pay anything for free. You can make this call up to 60 calls a minute, apparently. So I'm, I'm going to show you this uh, sample key and we'll go right in OBS. So once you're here, you get the API key. Of course, you register and sign in. It tells you I'm already signed in and it provides me an API key. Just the note, it takes like uh, two hours before you the key provided works. So I'm just gonna copy this, go back to this website, I'm gonna paste the key in there, enter the city. It's gonna enter Toronto, choose the country. Let's see what we got here, Canada. And at this point, I could just preview it. Now it's not in the measurement of my choice. So I'm going to metric preview it again. Now you have some more options to set this into dark mode. You can show a location. And what that does is it's just manipulating the URL that you will use to add those features on the overlay. Let's say you're happy with this, right? The next thing you could do on this website is resize this. So try to resize this without borders. So it's clean. Once you've done that, you click get URL. You'll get the URL you'll need to add for OBS. I'm gonna copy that in memory. You'll also get dimensions for this. So these are the specific dimensions. If you use, uh, then the OBS browser source will be just like that. All right, let's take a look at the OBS client. Here we are in OBS. Now, for me personally, uh, there are a couple of ways to do this. You could directly add this to one scene. Uh, I like to nest, so I'm going to create a scene so that allow me to add the weather to any scene I choose to do in the future. So the quickest way to create a scene is you can right click add, create a new scene. I'm going to duplicate because I like the conventions I'm using. So right in here, you can just right click a scene and you hit duplicate. This pops up a dialogue with already the name. So I'm going to overwrite this dialogue in here and type in weather instead. So background, delete that, type in weather. I clicked OK. Let me zoom back out. So I've got a duplicate scene. I'm going to move it to my grouping at the top here for weather. I'm actually going to remove this background because I don't need this in the scene. Next step in here is to add a browser source. I'm going to right click, click add and I'm going to select browser. When that pops up, I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call this browser source weather. I'm going to click OK. And that pops up a window. And in this is the window. In my memory, I have the URL. I'm going to paste it. I need the dimensions from the website. So quickly going to go check and see what they were. OK, it's telling me 537, 225. So here's my width. 537225. Now I could have left the default, but there's a lot of space around it. Click OK. And what we see here is the weather. Nice and big. I'll put it up there. Now, this is not the final look. Next thing I want to do is go to a scene that has my camera and I can add that. So let me say I take it to this scene where I have already a date and time. I want to add it in here. I'm just going to right click, add a scene and nest that right in there. So I think it was called background weather. So you can see that there. I'm going to select that, click OK. And now the weather is overlaying there. Now I could reposition the weather. 
Uh, I'm going to just reduce the size and keep it there. You can decide what works best for you. I'm going to be happy with that for now. So there you see it, the weather is being overlaid. As a best practice, I always ask you to lock your scenes, sorry, you lock your sources, and that prevents around the objects accidentally moving. There you have it, a weather overlay right in your window. Now you can change this to your liking and play and manipulate this. Or you can have this in all your scenes or just some. That's it for me. If you noticed, my weather sits right above my date time. You can even do something like that as well. Thanks for watching.